blood of Jesus. We play the blood, play the blood, the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, plead the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over our circumstances. The blood of Jesus Christ over our families. The blood of Jesus Christ over our nation, Nigeria. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over Israel, Ukraine, and the whole world. The whole wild world. <laughs> He's got the whole world. In His hands, you've got the whole wide world. In your hands, you've got the whole world. In your hands, you've got the whole world in your hands. You've got Nigeria. In your hands, you can see Nigeria. In your hands, Daddy, you can see Nigeria. You can see what you cannot see. You can see what you cannot see. The whole wide world, you can. You can hear what you cannot hear. You understand what you don't understand. And so, Father, this morning we bring our nation, Nigeria, before you as a point of contact for the nations of the world. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus to nullify, first of all, the cries, the wasted lives, why lives that are crying for vengeance, lives, blood that defies the land. If it is not blood that is shed as a result of banditry, uh, arm robbery, blood that is shed as a result of occult practices, blood that is shed as a result of ritualistic killing. So much, so much evil is happening. Father, we stand in the gap. We are very confident in our prayers. In Ezekiel 22 30, you said that you sought for a man, you are looking for one man, not plenty of people, one man. And you said that where there is one man, you will hear. Israel went into the captivity because there was no man. We sought for a man, and there was none, and they went into captivity. We refuse to go into captivity. We refuse that this carnage should continue. We refuse that this life, wastage of life, will continue. We refuse that prime, 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 destinies in their prime, destinies that are yet to manifest, be wasted. We reject it. So much is going on. We cannot have the largest auditorium one, largest church auditorium two, Largest church auditorium three. We cannot have the prayer um, uh, 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 prayer squares all over in every home with the prayer dome uh, 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 hanging everywhere, everywhere. The crescent everywhere, everywhere on every street, on every house, almost in every yes. But then, these things are happening. These atrocities are happening. Our religion cannot be in vain. It cannot be mere religion, no. 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 We cannot be a laughing stock, no. Father, we stand in the gap. Your word is power. Your word is powerful. You can turn and overturn. You don't need plenty of people. In Niger State, the local people were able to do it. They used the beast to stop the helicopter that was bringing food to, to, to destroy them. Father, you have everything. Everything is under your hand. The air, the sun, the stars, the moon, everything is a weapon. The air, the ground. We did it before. We are still doing it again. And we continue to do it. We ask. We have prayed for repentance. We are still praying. Because it is not your will that any should die. Any should perish. And so all the hearts that are perpetrating this evil, we continue to pray for their repentance. That they may know you and the power of your resurrection. The kingpins will know you and the power of your resurrection. But where they say no, we ask that let all the forces of darkness, let the ground open and swallow them up in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus and all those blood that are crying for vengeance, and let the blood of Jesus fight, fight on our behalf. Let it destroy, let it destroy, let it destroy every other past. We offer the blood of Jesus Christ 
as a weapon of warfare. We ask that let the blood of Jesus go and neutralize all those satanic pots. Let the blood of Jesus destroy their powers. Let the blood of Jesus annul, 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 annul their powers in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus cause them to begin to reject human blood, human flesh. Whatever they use, they say this medicine will not work except human beings. We destroy their powers. We destroy their powers. We say let those shrines begin to reject human beings in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you because our prayers are limited. But how you can do it, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. But one thing we are sure of, one thing we know, is that you are able to do for us exceedingly, abundantly, above our prayer requests. That is what your, your word says to us in Ephesians 3.20. Ephesians 3.20, we say there that you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above our expectations. And so, Father, we say thank you. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for doing for us what no man can do. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we say thank you. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. We deploy the blood of Jesus as a weapon of warfare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for your hearing us because your blood is effectual. Your blood is effectual. Your blood is effectual. Your blood is able to do what we cannot do. And so we say, let the blood of Jesus soak up, mop up every other satanic blood in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus destroy every works of wickedness in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus Christ wash that heart clean, that heart that is said to do evil, that heart that is said to perpetrate evil, that heart that is said to bring cry, to bring pain. You know, some people like to inflict pain, pain, inflict pain. That is where they get their joy, to see you cry, to see you weep. Father, let the blood of Jesus annul all of those acts of wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for the blood that is speaking, the blood that speaks recovery, the blood that speaks uh, revival, the blood that speaks restoration, the blood of Jesus that speaks everything good. We say thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. The blood is life. And so we inject the blood of Jesus into into nigeria we inject the blood of jesus into all our soldiers that are out there have the heart of the lion the lion of the tribe of judah let that blood flow above all let the blood silence and stop this carnage this wastage in the name of jesus ukraine so much life is going so much destruction father we ask for divine intervention the world all over we ask for divine intervention in the name of jesus christ Father, we say thank you. Daddy, we say thank you. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for meeting us at the point of our needs in the name of Jesus. We use the blood of Jesus as a blood tonic for our soldiers, blood tonic for ourselves to energize us, to strengthen us, that our hearts will not fail us. Our hearts will not fail us. We refuse to be afraid. We refuse to be tired. We refuse to be weary in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's keep hope alive. Let's keep hope alive. We serve a living God, not a dead God. A God that is able to go before us, to silence the enemy. He is the God of the valley. He is the God of the hill. He is the God of the day. He is still God in the night. A God is a God that can fight anywhere, in the valley, in the hills, everywhere. His weapons are superior to the AK-47, superior to whatever weapons they have. In the place of prayer and the word, let us call upon him. Let us cry upon him. Let us refuse to be weary. Let us refuse to be tired. Let us refuse to give up. Our God is faithful. God is faithful, able to do for us exceedingly, abundantly, above our prayer requests. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May God encourage our soldiers and us all. In the name of Jesus, let's keep faith with government. Let's keep faith with our government. Let's pray for them. Let's encourage them. Our soldiers that are out there, the vigilantes, all security forces, plain clothes. Otherwise, let's uphold them in our prayers. Before you pray for them, pray, 
pray, pray, pray, pray, pray. Before you pray for yourself, pray for them. Before you pray for yourself, pray for them. Pray for them. Let's pray for them. Pray for their families. Pray for all those that are falling. That God will comfort them. God will strengthen them. Pray for all those that are in one way or the other distressed. And we see God will meet us all at the point of our needs. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Do visit our YouTube channel. Church on the Air. Band of Love Ministries International. We have the messages loaded for you. Visit, like, share, subscribe. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages. When you pray and I pray, ministers of the truth, let's share, like. Not only my pages, any devotional you read, you like, not only your church devotional, share them. You can also download the download the Bible app and instead of posting only pictures of yourself, your family, post the word, post the word, share the word, post the word. They dominate the waves with their obscene um, articles, their obscene images. We can dominate with the word. The world need the word. <laughs> the world need the word. Give the word back to them. Share, share, share. And God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ.